All right, guys, now we're going to talk about Gundam Evolution from a monetization perspective a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is what the season pass is like, if it's worth it, how much it costs, all that sort of stuff. And then I'm going to talk about it from a perspective of a free to play player. Um, I used to play games free to play all the time. I usually end up doing that, to be honest. So I like to talk about it from that sort of perspective, too. So starting off, when I first logged into the game, I kind of got worried, to be completely honest. I looked at um, the shop here and I looked at the item sets and I saw these numbers and I was shocked. Um, if you guys don't know, an EVO coin is worth about one cent, one US dollar cent. So this is going to be 3.5, or this is going to be $35, 35, 35, uh, about 42. So um, <laughs> I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. The, the amount of money they're asking us to spend is absolutely insane. Um, but then I looked at it later on and I realized these are just the optional cosmetics. Um, I personally don't really have that much of a problem with optional cosmetics being like too expensive just because I, you know, they're optional, right? As long as they don't affect gameplay and as long as there's other things that you can get. So um, looking at it from the actual perspective of the season pass, I realized it's really not that bad. So um, the season pass costs $10, 999, or 990 EVO coins. Um, you can do this whole premium pass plus, which just like speeds yourself up and stuff, but whatever, right? That's just completely necessary. But this gets you lots of cool little things, obviously. So, you know, you have some little, some little icons, uh, little keychains, little weapon skins, skin for Arc 70 Gundam. Um, and you get a bunch of little supply pod tickets, which lets you, let you toss them into here and potentially get, you know, some cosmetics or one of these nicer legendary skins, which is really, really cool. Um, going back to season pass real quick. <laughs> but um, what I also really realized is that if you buy the season pass for $10, so 999, 990 EVO coins, you end up getting, let's count it, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 990 EVO coins. You can literally just use that money to buy the season pass for the next month. Like $10 and you can have the season pass forever if you just play the game. That sounds like good money to me. And so I saw that and I was like, you know what? That's fair. I know some other games do that, but I thought that was like, I thought that was really, really nice, right? Um, and then I also realized this gives you 1,000 capital. This also gives you 1,000 capital. So. Assuming you're going the season pass route, you're getting, um, granted these are free, you're getting the ability to buy the season pass perpetually and buy yourself a whole character. The characters cost, um, let's see exactly what it is, but they cost 1,980 capital. So look, you can literally get it for free, right? And so going back to specifically about the season pass, you're getting the ability to buy it perpetually. I mean, like that's, <laughs> like I said, if you're going to play the game consistently, that's just, that's definitely worth your money. Um, I do want Gundam Evolution to make Bandai money because that's what's going to keep it alive, but I'm not going to like, you know, try and sell you guys anything stupid. I will definitely be buying it. Um, actually, I actually think I'm getting some free coins to get it for free, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I would buy it in like my alternate accounts, so that most likely. Um, definitely would if it was on my main, I had to pay for it. But yeah, we're getting lots of really cool things here. I'm going to run through them really quick, like set some skins here. This skin looks really, really nice. Zaku, that's super super cool white with like some uh, silver plated colors here more icons unicorn skin not too crazy um, and the thing is we're also getting these supply pod tickets and we're getting a total of for with with you know the regular stuff we're getting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, and then if you count these, um, 17, 20, 23. So 23 gives up these supply pods, and that's really, really convenient because I kind of also looked at the stuff in the shop here, and I thought, oh, okay, well, this, like, these skins are gonna be, like, only able to be obtained from here. And I thought, like, like these cool golden skins, but I think, I think are kind of cool, but, um, these skins and these neon light skins and gun skins, I thought they were specifically only gonna be able to be obtained, like, through these evil coin paid pods or, um, through these cat pods, but that's not the case. If you look at the characters, let's see, exactly. You can buy it 
It costs 600 of these material points, which you get for getting duplicates of other cosmetics. So it's buyable, and honestly that leaves the only real things in the game that aren't like purchasable with directly with money right now is um, is these skins from the season pass. So, you know, um, this skin, the Unicorn Gundam skin here, and then the skin from these item sets, including the DX edition, which does give you access to all four of the mobile suits. So, um, that's pretty solid overall, in my opinion. So for a season pass perspective, it's it's honestly really worth it. I keep forgetting where I am in my place here. But like I said, lots of really cool little little cosmetics, cool uh, things, have lots of little Gundam Evolution lore here. You know, you have Shar Zaku, Shar, all these cool things. This is a super cool gun. That's amazing to be honest, in my opinion. Um, and you get coins. It, it's, it's got a pretty good thing overall. Another cool gun. For sure, colony drop, tragic, right? But there's a there's a lot of there's a pretty solid decent amount of things, right? And even if you don't like really think they're super amazing, you're getting all these coins and you're getting all these extra um, supply pod stuff. That's really really nice. Now, moving on from here, talking about it from the perspective of a free to play player, if you don't choose if you choose not to go this route, so basically what you're looking at as a free to play player is these guys being locked. Um, that's the biggest concern, right, is the mobile suits. Now, usually what's going to happen is people usually tend to play like only one core type of characters, right? So let's say you like playing the damage characters. So you like playing like Pale Rider, Arc 70 Gundam, GM Sniper, um, Ashimar, things like that, right? So then you might go, okay, well, I want to play Unicorn Gundam, right? But these other ones don't interest you as much or Marisai, and these ones might not interest you as much. Um, there is going to be enough capital obtainable through these challenges. I don't have exact numbers for you guys right now because I literally can't see it, but um, the day one of this stuff gave, well, anyway, day one plus day two of these beginners challenge is given 450. There's five more days. There was 300 alone of the capital right here. We need 2000 to get it. The end of the seven day period, you're gonna be able to pick your first unit. Um, I don't really know exactly how often they're going to be doing that, but that looks really, really, really viable to me in general. With the way that the um, with the way that the season pass is working, um, it also does something really, really, really nice, right? And you know, this is all it all makes sense. So bear with me, right? So basically, what I was saying with the thing before is you get to buy yourself one unit that you want out of that group, um, which is pretty fair considering you're not actually putting any money into the game, and so you pay for it. Or sorry, you you know you grind your way up, you finish this seven days of playing, only only seven, right? And you get to pick one of the ones that you want. Um, and honestly, it might even be faster than that. It might end up being more like three thousand capital, so you can spend some on some of these little uh, supply ponds. But on level eighteen of the free season pass, you get one thousand capital. And then on day fifty-eight, you get another one thousand capital. And so what's that? Le what that lets you do is when season two comes around in two months and they add a new mobile suit boom, you have the money to pay for it. You can literally do the same sort of thing. Um, and I assume, obviously, I don't know for sure because you know, I don't have any insider information or anything, but they're probably going to be giving you about 2,000 capital every time for the free season pass. So you literally can play the game completely free, right? So let's say um, you're here sitting here split between wanting one of these five guys here and you're like, okay, well, let's go with Unicorn Gundam, right? And so for these seven days, you buy Unicorn Gundam and then there's going to be more daily and weekly challenges if we're looking at um well actually i'm not 100 sure if you'll be able to earn capital from the daily and weekly challenges but you do from these beginner ones for sure it's probably just to like certify yeah at least one mobile suit that you wanted but anyway so let's say you pick one of these and you're like oh, i want unicorn gundam right but you're deciding between unicorn and, and marasai you're not really sure but you know you end up going with unicorn gundam well when you level up your season pass over here and you get that bad boy up to level 58, well, you can go ahead and wait a little bit, because, you know, um, let's just say you wait until the next season, and then they announce a character that you're completely uninterested in. Well, there you go. Now you go spend some money on last season's character, and you go, all right, time to get Marasai. So playing this game for free is completely viable. Obviously, it might not be as fulfilling. There are a lot of cool cosmetics and things you might not be able to get. Um, but like I said, free to play, you can get 
all you can get a, a healthy amount of the characters you can basically get yourself in a situation where you're choosing between what characters you want um and not having to like spend money to get a new character that comes out if you if you save your money essentially and particularly the way that um all these items here in the shop these special limited ec pods so ones that even cost evil coins to buy you can literally get it for free right like i said when when you're playing free to play you gotta understand you're not gonna be able to get everything all the time so um let's just say maybe you know you get to pick between there's like six of these or whatever and, and two of these guys let's say you earn up and get enough of these material points from um the tickets that you're getting for playing and the the tickets you're getting for playing and your tickets you're getting from your free season pass and then you're using that to get your material points you're getting the ability to buy one of these so for me i really think it's worth it um and i it yeah i'm really actually pleasantly surprised with the way that they've done the cosmetics overall the like i said when i first walked in i was like oh my gosh 40 bucks that's crazy like that was shocking to me but considering the fact that it's a completely unnecessary thing and like it's only only like you know a few of the cosmetics have been actually locked down permanently um there's plenty of cosmetics that are available plenty of cool cosmetics that are available none of the mobile suits have been locked down specifically for paid only so you don't have to worry about that and it's also not locked down in a way where you have to wait forever like another you know another game we know of overwatch 2 right where you have to play until like the very end of the season pass to get a character or you need to um pay for it so in in this version of it it's way more viable just because of this these beginner challenges you play your beginner challenges it gets you your first free mobile suit right there and if you want to save it and wait for the next character that's going to get you ahead of the time um and even with doing that since you're starting off with a free extra character you're not having to get all the way to level 58 right like you get the one that you want and then you have to get to level 58 during the season and then you save money for next season's mobile suit so um honestly for both ways i think it's it's perfectly worth it if you want to pay for the season pass i would honestly suggest doing it it's only ten dollars and it's like really good value if you're actually going to put the time into the game and if you want to play free to play it's still viable so yeah guys if you're looking for some more Gundam Evolution videos, then make sure to check out my mobile suit guides. I made one for all original The 14 mobile suits, and I did a Should You Main guide series also, covering the same mobile suits and talking about whether you should actually main them in Gundam Evolution or not.